All right. I'm sure I'm going to get copyright infringement for 17 seconds of that. It was Ennio Morricone's A Fistful of Dollars. Um, the result. What's the name of the track? The result. So this is the amplifier I talked about yesterday. If you're seeing this whenever in the future, I did two uh, amplifiers in a row. Actually, maybe three. Um, this SMSL and this SMSL. This is 140. This is 170. This has a USB input and then a new German amplifier and Japanese uh, volume control. And this has balanced XLR inputs and a new German amplifier and a new Japanese volume input. So um, they're competing with themselves, slightly different form factor. I guess you pick the one you want. They both have Bluetooth 5. They're both exceptionally good amplifiers, 80 watts per channel, although you know you're not getting that much without distortion, so I'd say 50 watts per channel, clean. I'm currently running them on this desk. These are Yamo S803s, linked in the description. Holy fuck, I forgot how great these are. On these new white Soundrise stands, I'm sure these will be unavailable by the time you click it, because it's been out for three different reviews now, and it's fine. Um, I enjoy doing that way too much. So, last episode, I talked about this, and I talked about how this blew my fucking mind, and how clean it is, and holy shit, the separation. And now I'm gonna talk about this, and I was blowing my mind, and how clean it is, and now the separation, except um, where I was getting off to the fact that this was running off the Gashali Labs Enog. Gashali Labs Enog is a very good DAC, and this um, black box here, this is a topping a D90, which, linked in the description, slightly more expensive DAC. Not necessarily cleaner, just more feature-filled and all oh, fuck. So, now that we have this new uh, German amplification technology powered with Japanese fucking mad science volume controls to make it cleaner and more efficient and all these other things, what happens when we feed it this sort of signal? Well, I actually have RCAs coming from the Gashelli Labs, just like I did on that one last episode. And I have the XLRs coming from this, and I can switch between them. The volume discrepancy is pretty severe. It's like a solid 10 decibels. In fact, where am I? Can I just switch this? Okay, hold on. There's a menu. There's also remotes. I'm trying to get us confused because the topping remote for that DAC and this remote, uh, okay, stay. All right, input, which is this power mute, volume up, volume down, nothing, nothing, menu, actually select, then back and forth, then input, then function, runs it between direct. This this unit had several different, um, like rock, or I'm sorry, arcock and soft and clear, all different EQs. This has direct, SBDB, which is um, their proprietary, like, it's basically their loudness, their version of loudness. And then tone, because there are bass and treble tone controls in this. And that's it. No EQs. I'm actually going to give it a point for not having Arcock. You get one point over that. Um, although it does lack, those features were on the, my, like my big, I have the SMSL DAC over there. Those are like the tone, the um, tube and crystal and those like weird tweaks, but that was more of a DAC thing. Anyway, set it to direct, set the input to RCA. Let's unpause, let's go to another track. Let's go to the track that actually has volume. Volume, volume, volume. All right, Frank Sinatra, it was a very good year. You could hear it's playing under like a like a, a very gentle tone. If I swap that from RCA to XLR, it is a significantly louder, like sig fucking significantly louder. Now that is two parts. Either the voltage coming out of the topping is just insanely too high. Now I have it set to zeros. I can lower the output voltage of this DAC. And I'm probably going to because that's, it's it's too much. I'm going to take it down. Oh my God. By the way, this is the first time I'm hooking up this DAC. So it's sort of like the beginning of, of testing. That is insanely too fast, that volume. Did anyone see that? I'm going to 
manually chuck this fucker down six decibels because you don't want to over voltage an amp. An amp could be the cleanest thing on earth and it expects two and a quarter volts or in this case six volts and it's just sitting there waiting for it and all of a sudden it gets like nine and a half and it's like ah my hands are on fire why do you sound so shitty because it's killing me help and it doesn't matter if you lower the volume if the voltage is too much coming out of a DAC you can distort your amplifiers so I'm gonna lower that 6 dB and then we're gonna unpause this cuz when I was 17 Aww. I would love to listen to music on these videos, but I really can't. Like, I would love to sit here and just moan to Frank Sinatra being like, right here. That's the balance difference. That's the, like, as much as the separation and clarity improved going from the Canna with its internal DAC to this monster with that DAC, now take this monster with this DAC and this monster with the same thing, and we're just, just 3% more. Is it noticeable? I think if you bought this and didn't change the DAC and bought this and didn't change the DAC, you'd never notice. You'd never notice. But the fact that I'm sitting here and being paid by my patrons and, well, actually, I have no sponsors. Did I just sponsor my videos? Preferably something food based so I can actually try it and they're like, oh my God, donuts are great. Um, this. Where'd it go? I went to a very far away place just now. I need to focus. I'm done focusing. So, bouncing between RCA, I could actually use this and that to completely balance it. Let's try that, which I think Frank's gonna definitely get me. Ooh. Okay, Monster Magnet. I could live with Monster Magnet. Let's set the volume. I'm gonna take this down another. Oh my fucking God! Fucking Mario Andretti guest starred on the design of the topping. Um, we'll get to that. We'll fucking get to it. I'm gonna change the input now to RCA. Still too loud. Hold on. Actually, you know what? I don't have like a good shell lab on Maximo, I don't think. That Cachelli Labs is actually toned down because that DAC is one of the only DACs without getting into like the $600 DACs that you could actually choose the voltage output. And I think I have it toned down so I could use high gain on the 789, which means it would be louder if it was on high gain. But then again, irrelevant to the situation. We're talking about this amplifier. We should switch to Bluetooth for a second too. Now that I've got, however, the RCA and the XLR, pretty much perfectly. I'm at negative 14 dB here, and that's on medium gain. So I think switching through them just now sounded pretty fucking spot on as far as volume. Let's get to a song. I'm gonna get to a song that has what I would call quality. No. Oh yeah, Michael Jackson, Heaven Can Wait. He's dead, by the way. So it's ironic. Everything's ironic now. There's just the faintest hint that there might be more sound. I might just be hearing the differences in the DAC. But I, for some reason, the Gashelli Lab sounded higher, which might mean there's more treble going in line. This is the fucking nightmare that is my life, all right? You see this? This is a list of everything I have to review. This is, this is that list. I can cross off, I think, one thing, because I reviewed that amp. Now I'm reviewing this one. I'm going to cross off two things on this list. And somehow I have to compare everything from here against itself and to everything I've ever done in the past. So give me a second if I sound like I'm losing my mind. It is very late. Hello phone, what time is it? 1.22 a.m. This is when the best C reviews are made. Actually, 2 a.m. is when the best C reviews are made. Preferably when I'm hungry and angry. I'm gonna skip forward in this Michael Jackson. Hold on. What did I, why is there no make the sound go? Oh.
Yeah, I, there's is a little bit of a difference, XLR versus RCA. Is it worth pursuing this one instead of this one to get that? Only if your situation is required. Only if you have, if you're, everything in your stack is balanced, by all means, get this one. It's more money and it's more of a common form factor. This is still a brick. Putting a brick places sounds like fun. It probably is. It doesn't take up most space. Fit under a monitor if you're doing a desk setup like this. Just tuck it away. This is lower, however. You're literally picking, do you want long fat boy or short flat boy? That, that That's, there you go. They use the exact same power brick, so I don't deliver in the same power. 24 volts, 6.75 amps, I believe. We should look at the back of this one, even though it's going to be a nightmare. It's not much. Here's your power input. You are a five-way binding post. You can use regular speaker wire. I highly recommend these micas. I'll link to them. Not 100% sure if you can get the six-footers anymore. They seem to be running out. There's 12-footers and scissors exist, but then you have non-fucking good wires. Um, here's your antenna, which you need to have on for it to function. Here is your XLR inputs. Here's your RCA inputs. The end. No digital inputs at all, except for the Bluetooth, which is strange because... That means that there has to be a DAC inside to convert digital to analog because Bluetooth is digital. So there's a DAC, but only a Bluetooth DAC. So you know they're not spending a fuck ton of money on it. I mean, this has a, at least a full USB input, 384, 32-bit. I doubt they're putting that same DAC in this. It doesn't matter. Bluetooth sounds fine. If we switch to Bluetooth, where is it? I gotta figure out how to... Uh, can we talk about this screen? The screen on this one, at least I could operate it without like getting reading glasses. If you're in a living room, you could see the volume on it. Although, you know, there's no digital input for a living room. You have to have a home theater PC or your own external DAC like this or a Gashelli Lab, something with a fiber optic. This screen, that, that says a lot of stuff. And we could skip through all this stuff, which I'm not sure if you could even see it on camera. There's seven screens. First one is inputs, and you, you could switch between them with this. So I could switch to Bluetooth. So now we're on Bluetooth. So now this. Where are you? Mask of Zorro Confession. Qualcomm AptX. So now this is our source going Bluetooth to this. Which we're going to... Leave it up to Zeus to have like weird weeb shit on his fucking thing. This is apparently the Toho Max Techno Red Rainbow Wings the Red. I don't know. It's very long. Code Phoenix feet. Six minutes. I definitely need to go get an old ratted out Volvo and Euro beat the shit out of it to this down like a tunnel. All right, next track. See, more weeb shit, but classy weeb shit. This is the Skraido, My Lost Mind. And it's just like a fucking sad uh, saxophone. And I could hear depth, I could hear like an echo depth wise. Like it sounds like a saxophone's in my face, then I realized the man's about 10 feet from the microphone and he's in a giant gymnasium and it's just echoing to the back of the gymnasium. That's what good recording quality is. Not hearing the music in your room, hearing the music being made in their room. That's recording quality. Anywho, that's Bluetooth. Um, Where was I? I was showing this off, wasn't I? So we have the first screen, one to seven is inputs. The second screen is Bluetooth setup, turn to reset. I did this. You just turn the knob in any direction on number two, completely forgets what your Bluetooth device is and disconnects it. You have to go fucking find it again. Don't fuck that up. Number three, EQ mode, which you switch between direct, SBD, or tone. Just like on the remote, it's the same thing. Number four is treble. We get to take it up 10 or negative 10. It's a very basic tone control. If you have it on direct mode, doesn't matter what you set. What you can do is put a slight bass boost on. And then if you ever want to just 
button press to get to it, you would switch it from direct through SBD, which is like their loudness, to tone, and then it would have your tone control set up. So treble, five is bass, six is display mode. I have it set to show me the volume when nothing's going on and not the input, because it's more important to see, to see what the volume is. And seven is brightness. And fucking brightness one, I thought was brightness five, because brightness fucking four will cut a hole through the lens of my camera. That is so fucking bright. And you can shut off the display entirely if you want to get like super emo with it. That's it. There's not much to the setting. It's just basic settings, just like the other amp, basic settings. You're looking at these two amplifiers, either this SMSL or this SMSL, 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 because German chips and Japanese pots, actually it's not even a volume pot, it's a Jap, what the hell is it called? It's a Japanese NJRC NJW1194, precise volume control. Isn't that lovely? So with that and these new Class D German amps, we, I'm, I'm pretty fucking impressed. I mean, this is Bluetooth shit, and I'm ready to, like, walk out the room with how fucking good it sounds. Ooh. More Dexter. A lot of very good songs on the Dexter soundtrack. The show ended like shit. The show ended probably worse than Star Wars. And Star Wars ended pretty fucking bad, so that that's saying something. What, what commitment this amplifier has to power delivery. Like, I, I, that's a weird way to describe it, but every once in a while, Zeus has his brain goes, and it fires, and there's a little spark. And more than anything, it sounds like when that bass note hits, and this, by the way, is Mob Psycho, another weeby thing. I don't know, it's all Japanese up there. Um, when that bass note hits, I could tell it wants to push. The full voltage, whatever the amp, amperage and wattage and voltage you need, it wants to deliver it to you. Maybe that, maybe distortion numbers have been raised. Because usually I say if it's an 80 watt per channel amplifier, you're good at 50, but don't push it past that or distortion ramps up. Maybe one of the benefits of these new amps is not just efficiency, but maybe instead of 50, you get 62 before that distortion kicks in. Maybe they're pushing them a little bit farther. And that's why I'm feeling, I'm just feeling it. I'm feeling this like. It's gonna be real hard to recommend any other amplifier. The topping PA3 is basically gonna be like on hold for a bit. Because what these two amplifiers can do is just deliver. Like they deliver power in spades. Something new is always good. And it's like, I was worried it was going to be just another class D amp. Just another class D. It's going to be the same old class. I'm not going to hear a single difference at all. It's going to be... No. These are angry amplifiers. It's doing a weird thing that you can't hear. It's not in stereo. There's, there's cla... Oh, i got to pause this. I'm not going to make able to monetize any of these videos. Please join my Patreon or subscribe star. Um... And this is off Bluetooth. If I switch back, which, let's see, RCA, we'll do XLR in off of this because that thing's worth a lot of money. There's no other reason to switch than just it's worth a lot of money. Hold it down for a second to get out, power on and off. It doesn't get warm. I've been running it now before the review, during the review, it's, 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 it's a cold metal box. They both never broke fucking a sweat. Sleep for a second, baby. I'm going back to this. Rinsler? Let's do Rin. I don't wanna, I really, I'm just, I'm just, I'm pushing my luck. That's 53 out of 60. So we're actually approaching, I think it stops at 60, right? Yeah, max is 60. 53 out of 60 is where about as hard as I want to push this amplifier on these speakers. Uh, keeping in mind, keeping in mind, 53 out of 60, 14 decibels removed on the DAC. 
14. Fuck. That means if I put this back up to zero and we're giving this whatever voltage this is outputting, this these speakers will literally ignite. Oh, here, I'll do the test. I'll minimize that. I'm going to jank this back up. Oh, done that there. That is dumb topping. I can't, I, maybe I'll just get a couple headphone amps to review this real quick because maybe I'll set this review to come out faster. Come out faster. Watch this. Uh, 99 decibels down. And zero. Fuck you. So now we're at zero. So now we're at minimum. So let's put this back on and raise the volume. Oh yeah. That's now 37 out of 60 and I want to die. So they got power. These aren't like, these don't represent every speaker, but they represent a very good set of speakers. On a desk, granted on a desk, but in a room, you take this 37, you make it 40. I said in the last episode, I'll say it again now, it's like I'm hearing the THX amplifier of speakers. I could just tell, I could just tell. It's got this more immediate, fast cleanliness to it than most other amplifiers. And I really would have to sit here with the topping PA3 to, to know if I even should recommend that anymore. That's dumb, These are, this is dumb. You're dumb and you're dumb. You're dumb and have a USB DAC. You're dumb and have balanced inputs. Take your pick. They're both exceptional versions of the amplifier. The amplifier chip itself is what matters. The little, the, whatever they're talking about in here, the German Infineon NewTek Class D power amp chip with higher quality of inefficiency. That one. German, German Infineons are just perfect. So I think I'm done. I think I've, um, one of these will end up in a yard sale because I don't need two of them. The question is, which one does Zeos desire more? I'm pretty sure I'm going to be keeping this one. Simple fact, doesn't need the EQs in that. I don't really plan to use the USB deck, although that would allow me to just plug this into a fucking laptop and be done with it. And I could plug my laptop in anywhere. We, one of these will end up in a yard sale. If you don't know, yard sales, I sell things. I've got piles, piles and piles and piles of things. And from the 1st to the 10th of every month, people who are patrons or... People who have joined my subscribe star for $5 get into the yard sales. They get to name their own price. At the end of it, it's a blind sound auction. If you bid the highest amount, you win. Shipping United States, free. Shipping international, half price. Um, I answer all your questions on either one of those platforms. I answer once a week. Don't expect to reply immediately. If you're lucky, you ask me on the right day. I never know what day that's going to be. If you want immediate answers to your questions, please join the $10 tier. That's where the private Telegram chat is. Again, both services let you access the same benefits. You all get to see these reviews early. Uh, the private telegram, bunch of good guys in there. Uh, unfortunately, one person was in there and uh, then he went from having a topping PA3 to having a 1,000 euro uh, speaker amplifier for his desk. So I, I didn't recommend it, all right? I, I didn't recommend it. They recommended it. They're like, they're like concentrated scrapings of me. They just make you spend all your money. It's not great. I wouldn't go there, in fact, if I don't join the $10 tier, just to save your soul. Um, these wallpapers, by the way, available in the description of every video, and I keep an archive of every wallpaper I've ever used, accessible to the $5 tiers and higher. Um, if you want to look up the original artist, there's websites I link to to do that. You just plop this in Sauce Now or IQDB, and you can find the original artist and say thank you for, thank you for paying such close attention to the details. Thank you. Um, so there's that, there's that. Hi-Fi Guides should have an amplifier section, both on the main website, the actual searchable website that is designed to help you buy things, and the forums, which is designed to help you lose your mind. Again, a lot of people losing their minds. So just go there to like, it's like a, it's like a group therapy. I, I tried to do audio that I lost my mind and then everyone just hugs each other. They tell those stories. I should, we should put like an AA section in for people with problems, people with purchasing problems. I think I'm done. I'm, I'm feeling like I've been doing this review for about 34 and a half minutes. Eh? Eh? How off is that? Um, so now, yeah, either one of these is fucking, they're both under 
choose the form factor, and if you want a USB DAC or balance, and you both get the same fucking remote, you get the same, same fucking remote, so it doesn't matter. I didn't even switch remotes. I just, just said batteries doesn't work. It's fine. Your exact same remote. So that's it. I'll link to everything. And then I'm going to take my slippers off and go to sleep. So you good. I'm good. We're good. Thank you. And good night.